I am flying out day after tomorrow, so today I need to pack. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the effortless outfits that come together using the travel capsule wardrobe that I planned in this video here. So if you haven't seen that, check that one out too. Hi y'all, my name is Lori. If this is your first time here, then welcome. If you've been here before, then you know I talk with my hands way too much. Thank you so much to all of you that reached out and let me know that that's really distracting. I'm gonna be doing the best I can to really quell that. So if you see my hands in my pockets a lot, that is what that is about. I am going to learn to stop expressing myself with my hands. Anyway, that's silly. Let's just get to the outfits. Now, this is one of my favorite go-to air travel outfits. And let me tell you why it works so very well for me. Like it is really super warm where I live almost all the time, but I get cold on airplanes. So in this outfit with my navy blue linen joggers, my washable silk cami, and my chunky cardigan sweater. I am cool and comfortable enough on my way to the airport because the joggers are very lightweight, comfortable, very roomy, and they breathe well because they're linen. But when I'm on the plane, I'm also perfectly comfortable because this sweater keeps me really, really warm. And I'm wearing my pearl studded sneakers that keep my feet warm because my feet get cold on the airplane. So I always wear closed toe shoes, preferably closed toed shoes that um, allow me to wear a sock because my feet get really cold on an airplane. Now these are all such very versatile pieces that you can mix and match into a bunch of different outfits while you're traveling. But more importantly, these pieces make up an incredibly comfortable air travel outfit formula. I love it. Oh my goodness. This not talking with my hands thing is going to be rough. I'm, I'm trying. I can talk a little bit with my hands, right? Now this next outfit is perfect for a day out sightseeing as long as you're not gonna be going to any religious type places that require you to be really covered up. Because this next outfit is the navy blue linen short suit that I've talked about on my channel so many times because I include it in so many different packing lists because it is so incredibly casual but in a more elevated kind of way, if, if that even makes sense. So when I'm traveling, this is an outfit that I would wear out to lunch or out sightseeing or, you know, even out shopping. And in my real life at home, this is an outfit I wear all the time. So it's super comfortable because it is linen and it's very authentic to my style. So it's something that I really, really enjoy wearing. Plus these pieces are so versatile. They can be worn together as you can see, but as you're gonna see, they can be worn in different ways as well. Because if the blazer is too warm, I can simply remove it and still have a very casual, but an elevated casual outfit to wear out for the day. So let's get to the next outfit. Now two of the three clothing pieces I'm wearing right now, you've already seen once in this video. You saw this silk cami, it was included in my air travel outfit. And you saw this navy blue linen blazer because it's part of the short suit set that I wore yesterday. This outfit is one of my favorites. It's made up of two of my favorite fabrics and that's just linen and silk. And those are my two absolutely favorite fabrics to wear is linen and silk. And I know what you might be thinking, Lori, you might not wanna be mixing an ivory silk cami with white linen pants. But I want you to know this, your white shades, shades of white, don't have to match exactly within one outfit to still achieve that monochromatic look. And because I absolutely love a monochromatic look, I mix these shades all the time and it feels completely comfortable to me. I do like to add a contrast with the navy blue because I personally am just naturally drawn to contrast. Now at this point, I know a lot of you might be saying, you know, Lori, a white and navy outfit can feel a little boring and I get it, I get it. For me, it's not boring at all because I am an authentic coastal grandmother and navy and white has just been one of my favorite outfit combinations to wear since I was a teen. But this year I have added this lime green bag for just a fun pop of color. Now this lime green is not a color that I have a lot of in my wardrobe and I never will. It's not a color that I gravitate towards, but this year it's a fun color and I thought, hey, why not? So I am going to enjoy carrying this lime green bag all spring and summer this year because I think it's fun. And you know what? That's really the only reason I need. So if you have a fun accessory that you don't quite know how to pair, pair it with an otherwise neutral outfit that it won't compete with. Let it be the star of the show, wear it with confidence and enjoy your day. Now let's get to the next outfit. Now this next outfit is another one that I just really enjoy because it's about as coastal grandmother as it gets. 
And because that has been my style, my authentic style for almost all my life, I feel completely confident, comfortable, and at home in this type of outfit. And it's just a white Banana Republic long sleeve boxy cut linen button up with some old navy jeans and the pearl sneakers that you've already seen. Now what's so great about these pieces for my capsule wardrobe, whether I'm traveling or at home, is obviously the jeans can mix and match with every top in my capsule. And this shirt can also mix and match with every bottom in my capsule wardrobe. And really, that is the most important thing. That is the secret sauce that makes a capsule wardrobe work. But what's so great about this piece when I'm traveling is that this shirt is a great swimsuit cover-up. And that's something that I really, really enjoy. And because it's linen, it doesn't get hot. It breathes so well. So I can comfortably and confidently wear it over a swimsuit, especially if I want just like a little extra protection from the sun and still be completely comfortable. And so for all of those reasons, this is one of my favorite outfits, whether I'm out traveling or home. But I've got one more outfit. Let's get to it. Now this last outfit is the perfect outfit when you are traveling to those really, really warm climates. And you want to be cool and comfortable, or at least as cool and comfortable as possible, but still have a bit of an elevated look. And so for those reasons, I like to include this navy cotton skirt and this white eyelet button up top because it looks a bit elevated, right? Like it doesn't look sloppy. It looks well thought out and well put together. When I'm in a really hot and sticky climate, I don't enjoy the feeling of fabric sticking to my skin and a wide skirt and this eyelet top are going to ensure that that just doesn't happen for me. Now these pieces are obviously still in those same primary colors of this capsule, navy and white, but I can reuse the green bag. It's a great pop of color again, but if I'm not feeling the green bag pop of color, the straw bag really works just just as well. So because these pieces are so comfortable and are so authentic to my own personal coastal grandmother style, they are a great choice for me to include in my capsule wardrobe for both travel and home. Now, if you had all day to hang out with me here on YouTube, which I would absolutely love, by the way, we could go on and on and on creating outfits with just these pieces. But because we all live in the real world, we are not gonna spend the next 27 hours watching all these different outfits come together on YouTube. So let's speed it up and get through it in just less than a minute. Now, as you can see, that was a lot of outfits with only 11 pieces of clothing, and that wasn't even all of them. There are still more combinations that you could choose with these particular 11 pieces of clothing. And that's why I love the whole concept of a capsule wardrobe, because it just is so efficient. It works so well. And it allows me to invest a little bit more money in pieces that I know I'm going to love long-term. And that leaves room in my budget for these inexpensive pieces that are fun for a moment, but not something I'm gonna enjoy long-term. But one of the things I love most about my mix and match capsule wardrobe is that it allows me to travel carry-on only. And I'm a carry-on only kind of woman because I do not like hanging out in baggage claim waiting for anything. And on top of that, I don't want my bags to get lost. So for those reasons, I really enjoy being a carry-on only traveler. Now, with that being said, I completely understand that some of you are really challenged to be carry-on only travelers because of the weight limits and restrictions by the airline carriers in your area. And I get it. There's no way I could meet a seven kilogram weight limit combined in my carry-on pieces because I carry two carry-on pieces. And while my ideal travel capsule wardrobe is incredibly efficient, there is no way I am going to be able to get on an airplane carry-on only for less than like just 15 pounds, right? That's just not gonna happen in my world. So if I do find myself in a situation where I have to keep that carry-on weight limit really, really low, I am either going to shop a different carrier to see if the weight limit doesn't apply because I know the weight limit does not apply to all carriers, or I'm gonna have to check a bag and risk it. I don't really look forward to either of those situations, so I try to keep carry-on weight limits in mind and I always check with the carriers before I purchase my plane tickets. But if it happens that I have to check a bag, I'm gonna check the bag and, you know, get over it, move on with my life and enjoy my trip. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. I look forward to sharing pictures of all of these outfits when I'm out traveling on my community post page. So if you're subscribed to the channel, if you want to see that kind of stuff, you will see the pictures of these outfits using these exact pieces that you've seen in this video while I'm out traveling. So when you see those community posts, say hi, let me know what you think. Is it something I should keep doing or is it something you know I should just move on from? No harm either way, I really just wanna know what you think. Also, I do have a free packing planner worksheet that I'm going to be releasing in the next few weeks. So if that's something you might be interested in, you might wanna to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when that happens because the link to release that free worksheet planner will be right here on YouTube. But only subscribe to the channel if you're ready, if you want to. If you are not ready or not interested in subscribing, don't worry about that at all. I don't mind a bit because you always have an open invitation to come back and hang out with me anytime you want, whether you're subscribed or not. So don't worry about subscribing unless you want to, because if you want to, I'd love it. But if not ready, no problem. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.